In this video, I want to share a tip to a common question that we get asked at DiviPlugins.com regarding our Divi Filter Grid plugin. And that is, how can I move the Read More button to the bottom of each grid item? You can see by default, the Read More button will sit just below the last element in each grid item. In this case, it's our post excerpt but a lot of users are wanting to move it to the bottom and stick it to the bottom of each grid item. And we can do that with a simple line in our CSS. So if we inspect element in our browser and take a look at this third item here, I'm gonna activate this CSS rule grid-auto-rows and then a bunch of autos with a 1FR. So you can see when I activate that, it pushes the read more bottom to the bottom of each grid item. What's happening here is by default, the grid auto row, rows rule is min dash content. And that just means that each row and each grid item will only be as tall as the content that is within it grid auto rows auto says the same thing it's just saying uh, for the first three rows make each row only as tall as the content that's within it only as tall as it needs to be one fr means make this one as tall as it can be and then if we apply auto to the button which is the last row then that goes back to make this one only as tall as it needs to be. So we're making the first three as tall as they need to be. The fourth one, the excerpt, as tall as it can be to fill that white space. And then the last one as tall as it needs to be. And we can easily add this to each module by going to the module settings. Go to the advanced tab, custom CSS and then scroll down to the post item container. If I copy and paste that, you can see that it does get applied and the read more button is pushed to the bottom. You get an error in here, but you can ignore that. That's just CSS grid is a newer technology and the code checker isn't code validator isn't aware of grid auto rows yet. So, <clears throat> One other issue you, that you might find is that if you're not displaying as many rows as I am in this example, this code isn't going to work. So let's go to the content tab and let's remove one of these rows. So let's turn off the post meta. Okay, so now we just have an image, title, excerpt, and read more button. And now, once I've turned off the meta, we're back to our same problem. And that's because we don't have the same amount of rows that our rule is trying to apply to. So I just need to go in here and remove one of the rows. And now it works again. So we have four rows total. And the third row is getting the one FR treatment. That is the post excerpt. It moved from the fourth row to the third row. So you can imagine, uh, <clears throat> depending on your situation, however many rows or elements you have, this, this line of code would need to change to match that number. The important thing is that the excerpt or whichever uh, element is just before the read more button has the one FR assigned to it. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.